So a new feature has been added to Roblox this week, the UI gradient. And what it does is it applies a gradient effect to your GUI elements. Kind of like in Photoshop or Paint.net or other image editing applications where you can apply not only a solid colour but actually uh, multiple colours which fade into each other in a UI element. You can now do that with this UI gradient feature. So to add a UI gradient, you just need to select the uh, element in the UI that you want to add it to. So you can add it to things such as a, a frame, image button, image label, viewport frame, uh, text label and text button. So if you just need to click on the frame or the element, click on the plus and then search for the UI gradient. Now, once you've inserted that, you can change the appearance property, sorry, the color property under appearance. And if you just click on it and then click on the three dots to the side here, you have a color sequence editor. And you might have seen this before in particle emitters. Basically allows you to add um, colors in a row here. And they will it will basically be the gradient. So you can add as many colors as you like. You just keep clicking to add different time points or uh, areas of the gradient. And then for each little point here, if you click the arrow and the arrow goes yellow, you can select the color property and just add a color for that point. And the color will last until you reach the next point. So you can drag it out if you want the color to last um, for a longer time or longer por or, or, or a bigger portion of the frame. And then for the next um, few points, you just change the colors. You have different colors here. So I'm going to do an orange and then more into a going into a yellow color. Then we can have a, a green, like this, and then a blue, a darker blue, and then we're going to do a pink, and you can see that this is turning into the colours of the rainbow. I'll finish it off with, um, let's, do, let's do a darker, darker pink like this, more like a violet. Okay, so there we go. And you can see now that we've got all of the colours in this UI gradient, I can move them around if I want to change the gradient a little bit. Uh, but once you're done with that, you can click on close here. And there are also some other properties that you can play around with. We've got offset here, so you can add an X or Y offset. And that will um, change it quite a lot here. Uh, let's just change. Let's do it. Let's do 0.1. There we go. 0.2. Okay, so yeah. Uh, I would do 0 0.2. Uh, sorry, 0 to 1. So a number from 0 to 1. And it's, uh, I think it's like how much the... Uh, gradient is is where it starts from so you can see it's actually starting from um, 0 0.2 tenths of, of, of the way through the frame if we change it to 0 0.5 then the red would probably start from uh, halfway through yeah there we go so it kind of just uh, moves the point where the gradient starts and you can do that same thing for the y-axis as well um, like this but you can't really see that because this is currently on the x-axis and it's uh, it's a horizontal gradient but you can change the rotation in degrees as well um, just like you can rotate a grade uh, a part, you can rotate the gradient like this. So lots of things to play around with here. Very cool uh, effect as well. I've only just been playing around with it, but I thought I'd let you guys know uh, about it. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you make with it. There are loads of different use cases for it. And you can also edit the gradient with a script so you can make moving gradients or, or things like that. So I'll link a dev forum post for you below where you can find out more about the UI gradient. Very, very cool indeed. And uh, yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching.